Hi everybody, and welcome to today's uh, video. <clears throat> it has been absolutely some time since I last uh, posted something. Uh, I've been extremely vi um, busy with a with a client um, who had some organisational issues, which I've now sorted. So I'm back to back to my coaching ro role, um, more or less full time. I've um, yeah, I've been talking to some to people from various industries and various levels of uh, organisations uh, as a matter of you know sort of market research for my coaching business, and um, it really doesn't matter if it's here in Switzerland or the UK. It's always or practically always the same story. In the very there are very rare occasions where um, someone gets promoted to a leadership role um, and has some you know, decent decent training. Uh, mentorship or coaching and I as I keep telling everybody is absolutely what I believe in you know, with the right um, training mentorship coaching uh, anybody can anybody can come a decent leader I mean if they're going to become an exceptional leader that's um, that needs hard work too but um, yeah and I was discussing with a, an, a company owner uh, recently and he asked me if there was any prerequisite to becoming a good leader. Uh, so obviously I said, you know, <coughs> leaders aren't um, born, they're made. They're made like anything else through hard work. But um, there is one sort of proviso that I said, which, which is which I do believe in. Um, and I've given this a lot of thought. It's like the um, just a, 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 um, an interest, an inherent interest in other people. Um, if you're sort of people shy, you, you know, you, you uh, you're an individualist who uh, uh, are very introverted, and you don't like you don't like being around people. Then that, then, but then you probably will never uh, end up in a ro uh, leadership role anyway. But no, if you if you're truly interested in other individuals, um, in them as a person, um, then uh, that's that's the only prerequisite really. Um, I just actually was watching. Um, lately a video from Simon Sinek on leadership and he has a friend of his who's um, uh, I think four-star general in the Royal Mar in the I was gonna say Royal Marines that would be British wouldn't it uh, in the uh, <coughs> US Marines and he says that the um, the way to recognize a, a, a good leader a strong leader is it's um, to watch them if they if they if they ask their members of their staff whenever they see them how, how are you doing you know and they're actually interested in the answer then that's uh, that's uh, they're a good they're a good leader and um, I'm sure everybody's experienced that just people asking you how you're doing and not really interested but, um, so yeah that's that's about it I'm um, I'm doing an interview with uh, with somebody who's leaving a company that I've worked with before as leaving the end of June <coughs> just for my research I'm going to do a, an interview with her and see the, what you know the, the reasons she's leaving because um, I believe that uh, you, know, you move to a new job uh, because of the pay, but you you leave an old job because of uh, leadership or, or or lack of it, or yeah, that some some sort of problems in those areas. So that's it for today. Um, fairly short video, but I hope to be posting a little bit more regularly. And I've got some I've won back some more time, and I'll be posting a link to this into my um, uh, email mailing list. So if anybody would like to uh, be on that drop me a line um, you can always contact me via the link below if you'd like to and uh, yeah look forward to talking to you cheers <laughs>